we live on the planet Earth. At the center of our solar system is the Sun. But the Sun is just one star among the billions of stars in our home galaxy, the Milky Way. A galaxy is a collection of stars, planets, dust, and gas, all held together by gravity. Galaxies are so big they are measured in light years. A light year is a distance like a travel in a year, or about 5.8 trillion miles. The Milky Way is between 100 and 130,000 light years in diameter. Our Sun is about 25,000 light years from the center of the Milky Way. The Milky Way is a spiral galaxy with arms of stars circling out of its center. Like ripples in a pond, the spiral arms are circling waves, with those waves causing new stars to form. Galaxies come in basically three different shapes. There are spiral galaxies like the Milky Way. Then there are elliptical galaxies, which are ball-shaped. The largest elliptical galaxies have trillions of stars. There are lenticular galaxies, galaxies that are shaped like a contact lens. And then there's a fourth type known as irregular galaxies. These galaxies don't have one kind of shape. They're often small with lots of newly formed stars and bright gas clouds where new stars form. Astronomers believe some irregular galaxies form when two galaxies bump and merge into each other. From Earth, we can see other galaxies with just our eyes, like Andromeda, which is about 2.5 million light years away, and the Large and Small Magellanic Clouds, about 200,000 light years away. With the use of telescopes on Earth and the Hubble telescope in space, scientists have cataloged thousands of galaxies and are discovering more every day. The most distant known galaxy in the universe is about 13 billion light years away. The biggest galaxy is the IC1101 supergalaxy. It is 6 million light years across. That is 60 times larger than Milky Way. You'll find lots of things in a galaxy, like clouds of dust and gas called nebulae, or quasars, objects that resemble stars but are much brighter. There are black holes, which are regions of space where a star or other mass has collapsed on itself and whose gravity stops anything, including light, from escaping. There's dark matter and dark energy. Dark matter doesn't give off any energy, but its gravity affects other things around it. And dark energy is a mysterious form of energy that makes up almost 75% of the universe. Galaxies give off different kinds of energy, so scientists have different ways of studying them. They can look at X-rays, gamma rays, ultraviolet radiation, and radio waves. And with more than 100 billion galaxies in the universe, there's lots more to discover.